How's it going, everybody? This is Eddie, and welcome back to another episode of Trove. Today, we got a nice... Oop, 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 giving away the secrets. <laughs> giving, I have, have a nice patch to talk about. I'm very excited about it. Um, so this is the Cookie Fant Edition patch. As you can see, it features a new hub. I think I talked about this in a previous video before the hub actually launched. Uh, and it's the nicest hub I've had yet, if you ask me. They got quite a few decorations around here. Got some nice grass in the place up up in here. Um, same old same old tower. Looking good. Uh, nice hedge here, which I like. Um, what else are we looking at? We're looking at a new, uh, new platform for the featured club worlds. Uh, so that includes... Uh, they don't have signs anymore to label what they are. It's the one thing they, they're kind of missing. But it's all about who's got the most props. Who's in first place, which is nobody, I don't think. Um, and then who's in second, third for most props. Um, I think this is gonna, it has somewhat random element to it. Uh, I think this is like with all within a certain range of props this is all within a certain range of props and this is all within a certain range of props so each one of these places is kind of for like a club a random club world with a certain amount of props and at least that's how it worked before um they just don't have the signs right now to say which is which but i mean i i like these decorations that's a nice looking bench <laughs> it's a great looking bench best part of the patch uh <laughs> anyways <clears throat> And also, of course, they have the new pirate shop, which I don't think is filled with the NPCs. I think that's going to be happening on the 31st. Uh, uh, but you can see a couple props is what it's going to look like. I don't know why there's little holes there or what. I don't really know exactly what's going to be going on here, but whatever it is, it's probably going to be pretty cool. Um, there's nothing going on right now that you can do. Uh, okay, so, um, let's go over the patch notes. The Cookie Vent Adventure Boxes are live. We are going to go over that in a minute, and they're pretty sweet. They're very awesome. Um, there are new types of loot that will rotate over time. Okay, we'll talk, again, we'll talk about this. Okay, let's save that. So, players now have two jumps by default. Um, so basically everyone gets another jump, and even if you're not holding any gear, which is great. Um, the, uh, the hub we just talked about. Uh, you will now enter the hub world at the start location. Which I think is right here. I guess. <clears throat> Samantha has leveled up and now has more stats. Uh, Samantha's a cat, I think. Uh, let's do some leveling, I guess. Uh, well, I guess there's one more thing to talk about. Which is that there's new mounts. So as you can see, I have this mount here, the blue cookie fin, and this mount here, the pink cookie fin. These are two new mounts. Uh, I happen to get them both one after another, per by chance, in the live stream last night. How sweet is that? And then the reason why you should go follow me over on twitch.tv slash Eddie Edster, at Eddie Edster, because we have some amazing moments over there. Um, there's a link down in the description to my Twitch if you're interested. So, uh, I also was giving away some Robo Raptor keys, as I do every time I stream Trove. But the nice thing about now that I've unlocked them both very early on in this patch is that for the rest of this time... Oh, we got one right here. If I get more Cookie Fent adventure mounts, I will be able to give those away on stream as well. Uh, very exciting. So... I would like to level my Fae Trickster here. I'm a little behind. It's only level 9. Um, and so, uh, yeah, let's do that. But, you know, let's talk about this while we do it. So let's talk about these cookie fin boxes while they're here. So um, there are new types of loot that will rotate over time. Uh, and they might come back in the future, but it, they're likely not. So, so, you know, chances are that this is the only time you can get these two types of mounts. You're probably able to craft them in the future, I believe, but, um, or maybe buy them. But for right now, they're found through these boxes, and they probably won't be able to be found through the, whatever the next box in the rotation is later on. 
So that's the way it's going to work. So then, you know, in, a, in the next patch, there'll be ocean boxes or whatever with a completely new set of random loot in it. At least that's what I gather. Um, they would commonly drop glim, flux, and other adventure resources. Uh, and you also, I've also gotten uncommonly, it's an uncommon level, you can get styles, uh, which is pretty nice. You don't need to save a style, a style recipe thing. Um, and you will also get um, Eyes of Cthulhu, which I have more eyes than I think I'll probably use for the foreseeable future, given that I got that one uncommon thing in the Shadow Arena. But, <clears throat> anyways, uh, that also happened in the live stream, which was very cool. Let's, let's plop down our ultimate there. Finish him off. Uh, there it is. Couldn't see it there for a second. Yeah, let's use that, I guess. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, and then very rarely they will actually drop the mounts. Ow. I'm trying to decide which direction to go, and let's go this way. Uh, okay, so... Let's open this, and I can show you an example how to do it. Now, you can use the golden keys to kind of force an uncommon or rare drop. Uh, I did not use the keys, and I got both the mounts in a row. So, obviously, rare does not mean, like, overly rare. And Let's go ahead and open another one. Three flux, or five flux, rather. Not bad. I need, I need as much flux as I can get at this point. Um... Mm. Okay, so um, da, 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 da. oh, cool. Oh, let's try this. I didn't even read this. I read the patch notes a while ago because they were released a while ago, um, and uh, then I didn't. Uh, but the, the patch didn't come out, so I didn't like follow through uh, with the video or anything. Uh, and now the patch is out, and I'm rereading the notes right now. And there's one that I missed that was very cool that we're totally going to try right after I destroy this giant bee. Um, okay, well, I, can't, I cannot walk and chew bubblegum at the same time, guys. I swear. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, okay, I need to read the patch notes before doing the dungeons. Uh Oh wow. Hmm, okay. I thought I had a different staff. Oh, that's right, I'm trying to get into level 10 so I can use my main magic staff. Alright, let's go... And to the cornerstone. So, um, the, um, the join button can no longer be spammed. That's another thing. So people were using it to kind of keep up with people while they were flying if they didn't have wings. Uh, now there's a 30 second cooldown, and that cooldown happens after you die, which means that you can no longer just respawn after dying, join on the friend you were playing with, and be right back in the game. Uh, you got to, uh, you got to put some more effort into that, you got to wait 30 seconds. So, you know, sticking around after you die is, uh, is a, a good idea. Or, you know, if you can get healed at least, it's, it's better if they can res you. Um, the Night Smash now uh, ha has a stun effect to it. That's kind of interesting. I haven't tried that yet, but I probably will. Um, and also, the base damage for uh, the, 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 yeah, so the, the, the like base starting damage without any weapons or armor or anything like that for basic attacks 
has been notably increased, which would make the early levels easier if you're using mostly basic attacks to defeat monsters. Which I think is exactly one of the things that I had been referring to for the past couple patch notes. Um, this sort of... It's not really an issue, just uh, something to note that was that as they made the higher level worlds harder and harder and the shadow arena harder and harder, uh, that it would be too hard to progress to um, the higher worlds. And so I think what they've done is they've basically made it really easy to do the beginning levels of every class. And that I think is a, is is I think what's going to happen is people are going to be able to find a class that they really like. Uh, because it's going to be so easy, even if they pick a class they don't like, it's going to be so easy for them to uh, progress high enough to a point where they're good enough where they can really grind higher levels. Um, and I think that once people find a class they like, they won't have problem grinding out to the higher, harder stuff. Did they defeat the boss in here already? I think they did, yeah. This is a cool looking, cool looking place nonetheless though, I've never... Never, never been in that one before. So I'm pretty glad about that. Um, and I think that should work out well. We'll see. I mean, I didn't necessarily think that there was per se an imbalance before. I was just worried that if they kept going on that track, there would be one. Um, and we'll, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Um... Okay, so Shadow Dungeons, Shadow Vendors now accept interactions from all players, not just those who open the particular portal. So that's nice. That was a little strange. I mean, I guess I kind of understand the mechanic. It promotes people to sort of start their own Shadows arenas. Um, but, you know, it's sort of just like, now you just have to buy things over time. Or, you know, wait till you have the keys. Uh, or wait till you, you have a key. I don't know. It, it, it is good, though. Um... I did, like I said, I, I had done some Shadow Arenas and Shadow Dungeons on the stream and uh, leveled up that Candy Barbarian, almost almost level 20 now. Um, the, actual, the actual level of the thing is um, like 22 or something because of stats, but he's only, his experience level is only 19. And uh, so that's cool, but uh, the, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so I got, I, I like spent my, the little shadow, oh, I forget what they're called. Shards? Like darkness shards or something like that? I can't remember. After that, and I got a lot of those random loot crates, and I got just a bunch of eyes, just a bunch of eye of cube Thulu. And, uh, I'm trying to get into the habit of actually saying these words right. For a while I found it funny butchering their names, but now I'm worried that it's going to actually confuse people, so... Um, Cube Thulu, the Eye of Cube Thulu, uh... Got a couple of those. Uh, and then I also got an uncommon one. Which gave me, like, 50 Eye of Cube Thulus or something like that. So now I have something around, like, 90 of them. And, uh, I don't even do... I've never used the Shadow... or uh, the Chaos Forge before, so... I, uh... <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh, spikes. Um... So... Okay. Oh, spikes again. Let's just teleport into those every single time. Good plan. Let's move on. Many more layers now spawn. Recipe layers now only spawn in U1 and up. So the world we're in right now do not actually spawn recipes, which I think is actually a good thing. Um, I think already the chances of one spawning in a lower level world were very low, and you kind of needed to get to the U1 and up to get any significant drop rates. But, you know, it, it's, it's nice. I think that it encourages people to get to a, a high level of class and really put some thought into their gear and stuff like that before attempting to, uh, you know, get mastery points in that particular way. I think it's a good... I, I don't mind it. Maybe I don't mind it because besides this one, uh, one class, all my classes are uh, already in like a U2, Uber 2 and up setting, so maybe that's why I don't mind it. But 
I don't know. That's one I'd be curious to hear some of the new players' thoughts on. Or maybe not so new. I mean, new enough to know what the recipes do and stuff, right? Um, fixed a bug where the teleporter boss affix was incredibly broken and triggered all the time. That was something that I did not do enough Shadow Arena um, on. The Shadow Arena boss can always teleport, so it was kind of... Uh, it was a little uncommon for me to come across bosses that would teleport. But when I did, it was super annoying, because they, they would do it all the time, basically. I think it was something, someone told me that it was something like every single time they did a, uh, every single time you use your ultimate, they would just teleport to you. Which is pretty broken. Um, Pemborg and Infinium Pemborg are now craftable, which is really cool. Those are cool looking mounts, I'm definitely going to look into what it takes to craft those. Um, but I do have, I do have the Cookie Fans, and I got the Regal Recliner for Mastery Rank 40. So that's cool. I got a couple new mounts. Um, you can no longer use middle mouse button. That's fine. Uh, lots of visual love for the hub, as we already talked about. Um, uh, wait, what was it? Some, something about, there's a couple of issues were fixed, per usual bugs and stuff like that, and of course a bunch of new community creations added, which is great. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, um, one thing I guess is that the Chaos Chest, this, this current rotation, um, happen to hold new items uh, that aren't yet available in-game in any other way. They're a preview on some knight costumes, the Bone Knight and Esselin Guardian. Very cool. So if you're looking to get something that literally no one else can get your hands on in any other way possible, uh, try your hand at some chaos chests. Cool feature. Very cool feature. Um, Alright, so I did want to mention a couple other things that I think I forgot to mention in a previous video. Uh, there's been some corrections uh, since I did a video on... I forget what the video was on. I think it was on some kind of wings. It was a while ago. <clears throat> I had heard that you needed to be mastery rank 20 to use wings no matter what wings you have and that apparently is, is incorrect you can actually uh, use wings at any level once you get your hands on them so if you do go for the starter pack with the wings uh, you do you you can use um, you can use them and there was one other thing that I'm forgetting right now but it'll come to me later uh, so yeah so how about that another patch uh, so another patch, a couple more mounts, a couple more costumes, except they're like hard to get. Um, oh, and one other thing that I don't think was mentioned in the past notes, which uh, maybe it was, I just overlooked it, that I want to show you that I think is really cool. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but I think I like it. Oh. Uh, you know what, let's just, um, oh, okay, that, yep, that's good. Let's see, where's the best way to show you this? I guess this way. It's actually going to take a while to get there. Now, we were looking for the crafting stations, and someone told me that, uh, Trusted Source has told me where they all are. And uh, the, I, uh, they said with the floating cube in the neon, in the digital spiders, and I thought, saw this, and I thought, that's it. That's the one. I remember, or I didn't see it. I thought of it. That's the first one to come to mind. This is the flying cube right there. Uh, but then I found a three-star dungeon that's very new that has a floating cube in it, and I believe that's actually the one it is. So it's not in there. I've looked in a couple of those. I didn't see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Leave it in the comments if I'm wrong. If it is in that one, then I'll keep looking in them. But... There's a uh, three-star dungeon somewhere that has another floating cube in it that's much bigger that uh, likely... I, I, I looked through one. I didn't look through it too thoroughly. It's pretty big, but likely that is the one where they uh, are in. What a cool sound, huh? Oh, I've never, I've never seen a, one of those. Maybe we should do it. All right, all right, let's do it. I'm always, I always want to do the new ones that I've never done before. Ow. 
that the boss right there? Oh boy. Just gotta get them all in a little herd there. I hate the Phatrix who are against large groups. It's so hard to shepherd them, unless I'm missing a trick or something. But in Shadow Arenas and Shadow Dungeons, where you can just stand up out of the way and just sort of pummel people with your fairly powerful... Uh, oh, hey, it's Monster Ant. Hi. Uh, yeah. I guess that's that. I was kind of hoping for something bigger. Um. Huh, okay. Now oh, there's another one that looks like it's kind of new. Let me, let me get to the ocean. That's what I'm going for here. Okay. I'm going for the ocean. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Train of that ruined. That's okay. Oh, I love the sound. <laughs> oh, here's another one. There's a haunted house. Oh, maybe I've done that one before. I don't remember it. Uh, I don't remember what, uh, if I've been to a house that's quite that purple before. Um, yeah, here we go. There's sand! I know that might not seem all that impressive to you guys. Um, but I like it. I think it's a nice touch. It's a nice indication that the future is coming. <laughs> uh, the uh, ocean is is coming to life. And I'm excited. I've seen some screenshots of the boats. Might I say they're looking mighty fine. Um, oh, I also had some generous gifts from, I think, Lil Game Freak was the username. Something along those lines. I'm forgetting exactly what it was. I apologize. But qu almost all the Quibsleys, which is cool. So we've got quite a few of the Treasure Isles uh, allies now. Minus 20% incoming damage. That's amazing. And this one that heals you, though, 2.2% health each time you damage an enemy. That's also pretty good. Especially when you deal a lot of damage, obviously. After killing an enemy and you gain some health. These are all good, honestly. And I noticed something. <clears throat> this guy has a different flag. It's like a newer flag, a newer version of the pirates. And I think this is the one that has the chance to spawn the crafting table that we're looking for. I think. Mount Jelly Knight. I think it's this way. I think when it spawns, it spawns in here. That's my guess. It spawns like right there. That, that's my guess. I could be wrong about that because I've actually never seen it. <laughs> so it's just an absolute guess. But I'm not sure. Uh, so, hey, DCR, how's it going? All right, well, that's going to be it for me today. I think there's another great patch. Uh, Trove, free to play. Check it out. Live streams, giving away Robo Raptors. And if I get any more cookie fans, I'll be sending them your way. Twitch.tv slash You can follow me on Twitter to know when I go live. And also, I've been posting videos when I go live. For those of you who are fans of me over on YouTube, and I leave the leave the video up for the duration of the live stream and then delete it once it I, I take them, once I stop streaming. Thanks for watching. See you later.